Novel Crafter is a platform uh, designed to write books, but as I s recently discovered, it's also a good platform for translation, to translate books. Uh, it needs a bit of tweaking but in the system, but not very uh, complicated one. So let's, let me show you how to do it. Okay, so we're in the Novel Crafter system. Uh, first of all, uh, if, it, 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 like I said, it's not a platform that uh, its, its first use is to write, write books, okay? Uh, and if you were looking for a dedicated platform to translate, let's take DeepL for it's like a leading platform. It pretty much looks like um, uh, pretty much looks like Google Translate. If you know, uh, this is the infrastructure of uh, DeepL. It's a good platform, but if you check the pricing, um, you see that it is ten about ten dollar a month, and also you have only five uh, files limit. Uh, and Overcrafter is $8 a month and doesn't have that limit. So, how to do it? First of all, we need to go to the prompt sections and to choose uh, the rephrase uh, section, which actually, as it says, uh, when you choose a specific uh, paragraph, for instance, or a sentence, it, re it rephrases it. So, if you stand on the rephrase, you can change this because that's the system prompt, but you can write clone. If you, if you press clone, then it generates a copy of the rephrase, uh, which I already made. So you change this, you change this uh, to what I wrote here, translate to English. So I already made that before, so let's move here. And it, as you can see, uh, I took the rephrase, I did the cloning, and then I wrote translate to English. I also did another one in Spanish. And this you can, I re highly recommend not to change everything, it's really technical instructions. But here in the instructions, you have this, um, this prompt, which uh, is an adaptation of what was, uh, what was written in the system prompt. But it says, whenever you're given text, translate into English, if it is written in any language other than English. Even if some words in the text are in English, translate the entire text into English, okay? So I did the same, uh, the same prompt also into Spanish. Uh, the only other, uh, the, the difference is it's Spanish instead of English. And the moment that I kind of uh, define those prompts as translate into English, translate into Spanish, I will, I will link this, not link, I will copy paste this uh, prompt in the, in the description of the video below so you could find it. And then after I, after I did that, this prompt is for the entire system. Uh, every novel has access to this. Uh, so let's go to, let's say, um, a book that I started writing. And for instance, if we take this paragraph and we uh, mark it, then you can see translate to Spanish. So if I say translate to Spanish, I can choose, let's say I choose Claude. And as you can see, it translates into Spanish, about the same height. I don't know Spanish enough to say if it's a good translation, um, but that's the way that I can translate uh, like bigger bits of my uh, book uh, from one language to another using the Novel Crafter system.